hello guys welcome to my new video in this video we are going to talk about the toggle options here like four major toggle options which are snap toggles angle snap toggle person snap toggle and spinner snap toggle basically we will be talking about these two options snap toggle and angle snap toggle in the previous video when i explained about keyboard shortcuts i have mentioned i'll be separately taking a video about these tools so in this video we are going to know what are these tools so i'm going to maximize one of my viewports here and i'll be drawing two objects i'll be drawing two boxes here one box and another so two boxes i have drawn here so what does this three means so if you will long press this option you can see two 2.5 and three so mainly we will be using most of the time we will be using here is 2.5 and three so if you are working in perspective and if you want to snap this corner of this box to the top of this corner so if you want to snap it in perspective mode we need to turn on the snap by the shortcut s so we should make sure it is in three dimension snap so once we made into three dimension snap if you will go into this point and we will drag it around you can see that it is snapping into any of the corners of the other box in, but if you can if you make this into 2.5 and if you try to do that you won't get that exact snap here see it's going it's snapping into somewhere else so so when we want to when we will be using this 2.5 so if you are drawing this if you are drawing these objects in top view and if you want to snap one point to other point uh, here we will be using the 2.5 snaps see any point i can snap the 2.5 and here the 3 point the 3 snap will doesn't work it may work but the thing is that if i click here so if i snap here we may not sure which point it will get snapped maybe it can snap to the top of that box or it can snap to the bottom of the box if you are using three dimension snap in the top view front view or left view so three dimension snap is only used for the perspective mode and 2.5 is used for the top front and left so if you will right click this option you can see snap options so basically there are like number of options here so mainly we will be make sure that we should be working in the vertex option because we will be mostly uh, snapping to the vertex of the each and every object i'll show you some of the other tools like if it is if you click on the grid points and i uh, make sure the grid is on so press g you will get the grid so when i press the grid points you can see the selection is made according to the grid points here so i can only make the selection according to the I'll display the wireframe see i can only make the selection according to the dis uh, the grid points i can i can't get the correct vertex selection so that is grid points and if you will click pivot uh, the pivot of the objects will be we can only uh, move through the pivot of the object so if i will drag from the corner also see the pivot is forming that i can only take the center of this object that is pivot and like that perpendicular edge segment if i click x edge segment we can only we can get the edge of this object and if you click face you will get the face of this object and move it and other other objects like grid lines then bounding box see it means the corners are getting selected you can't get any other in between vertices or lines you will get only the corner bounding box then end point see you can get the end point then midpoint midpoint yeah midpoint will be useful sometimes if you want to snap the midpoint to any other things you know then center face comes at same as face i guess like mainly make sure that we should use only the vertex only do not tick too many options it may uh, it may hard to work in these things 
make sure only one option is selected most of the time and if you need it only you try any other options in this one so that is about snap option then if you will go to options like uh, don't go that much into the other three tabs like this just uh, display like size of the size of the thing see now it is getting small the icon is getting small if you will make it 100 it will get double so just make see that's very really small now so i will make 50 only so just set it up pro in, in default setting only it will be like good enough to work so then here comes the angle tool so this is very important tool so there is an option called angle here so if you want to rotate this object by 90 degree you set the 90 degree angle here then this is the angle snap option tool so if you will click a it will go to the angle snap option so if you will select the object rotate press e for rotate and if you will rotate it it will be rotating in <coughs> 90 because you have already set here angle 90 and if you will make 45 here then if you click rot rotate then you can see it is rotating into 45 so that is about angle snap toggle the shortcut for angle snap toggle is a then next next comes the person snap toggle uh, it doesn't have unfortunately doesn't have any shortcuts here for person snap toggle and spinner snap toggle because these two are very least used in our workflow but i will be explaining what it is so what does person snap toggle means uh, now if you are scaling an object for example you are taking this box and you are scaling this object freely see you can see it is scaling very smoothly now if you had uh, see the person is 10 like let's say we made it into 30 and if you will click this person snap toggle and if you will drag this uh, try to scale this box see it is scaling person by person like 30 person we had given so if you'll make 60 person here it will scale 60 person so that is about a uh, person snap toggle and next comes the spinner snap toggle what this means uh, for example i will draw i will draw another box uh, for I'll say 500 <coughs> by 500 by 500 okay so if I'll go to the modify panel and if I just click this down and up arrow buttons for this box so I am increasing the length of this box so it's now 500 so you can see 505 510.05 515.15 so it is coming in that uh, five five point uh, five differences so I'll make this into 500 now I will go spinner I will on the spinner snap I will right click this one and here you can see 5 so if you will make it 20 and click OK so if I will increase the length you can see it is 520, 540, 560, 580 same way as the width also 580 so we are setting a set of value and n number of value there like how much we need to move the size and all so that is a spinner snap toggle and these are the main four options uh, so that's it for today's video uh, I hope you like this video and I will be coming with more videos next so if you are liking my channel and videos, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.